Thought you could go straight. I'll tell you where. And turn right. Turn and turn right? Yeah, watch. Keep going. Turn right, right here. Is there a street here? Yeah, I see it. No way. Oh, it's all dirt road, bro. Damn, we need a truck, bro. This is that's a dirt road right there. That's the road that it's telling us to take. Fuck. Damn. Damn it. Get right in coordinates. Yeah, we need a we need a truck for that. What happened? Should I just go back down horizon? Oh, it's not gonna give us any more. No? Nah, bro. Damn. It's not gonna give us any more. Well, let's see if we can find that, that abandoned house that I was talking about. Alright. Yeah, because you have to purchase. Oh, for it's, real? Yeah, it's, it's asking you to purchase tokens, owl tokens. Yeah. That we can generate new points for you. Major bummer. Damn. Yesterday was a bummer. Today is a bummer. We really need to find. Okay, guys. If you guys know any locations, if you have any friends or family that you know you feel like they have paranormal activity, make sure to hit us up. Email us. Message us on Facebook. Let us know. Maybe we could go in there and help them out. If the paranormal activity is too uh, intense. So maybe we can help those spirits move on to the next, the next life. That's pretty much why we, we want to do this too. To prove that there is a, an afterlife. Yeah, absolutely. And then maybe we can help people, uh, you know, cleanse their house and make the spirits move on if the activity is that, that bad or that intense too. I know this video is way different compared to our other ones, but I hope that you guys are still enjoying it. We're enjoying it, that's for sure. We're doing something different today. So don't say we didn't warn you of our adventure. You should put the camera on yourself too, bro. You gotta come out. I'm good. No, you're the star, bro. He doesn't wanna, he doesn't wanna show his cute face. You're the star, brother. Rock star. Party like a <laughs> uh, this is another pretty cool thing is that uh, you got two brothers doing this and on the same page and on the same levels on every aspect of ghost hunting and this adventure and stuff like that so I think that's pretty cool yeah and then having the support from friends and Certain family and uh, significant others. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Don't worry, one day. <laughs> one day. Maybe. I ain't no rush. I don't know, I feel like that Carl's Jr. is haunted. Oh, man, oh, yeah. It's haunted by delicious burgers. Carl's. Junior. Man, damn coyotes. Yeah, that was crazy. Always, that was pretty awesome though. My legs are all itchy. Going through those freaking bushes. Huh. Yep. Yeah. Right, this is the one side I was telling you about. <laughs> it's all heavy. Oh yeah, yeah. Then it goes soft. It goes slow, and then it goes heavy, and then really heavy, and it goes back to soft, soft, heavy, heavy, soft. <laughs> Beautiful city of El Paso, Texas. The 915. There. El Paso. El Paso. El Paso. El Paseo del Norte. The city was used for a pathway to go north into New Mexico 
by the Spaniards using the Rio Grande. Yeah. They called it El Paseo del Norte, the Passway to the North. So El Paso gained its name from its uh, rich history. It's crazy, I, I, it used to be called Franklin before it was called El Paso, you know that? Really? Yeah, it used to be called Franklin before it was called El Paso. I didn't know that, I just yeah. gained a wrinkle in my brain. Yep, crazy shit, man. It's crazy. I, know, I love our local history here. Oh yeah, we have a lot of rich history here in El Paso. A lot. And so with that rich history, a lot of uh, places that we're trying to get into, they respect the history and they respect the building itself and everything that embodies with that whole establishment. And so they don't want to mix their businesses with what we're trying to do, which is ghost hunt. And they're just trying to keep the respect towards the establishment and building. So we, we understand that, but it just, it's, it's a... It's a major bummer for us. Yeah, it's a bummer. Because we're trying to get into all the places that everybody's thinking about that we already thought of. And, you know, people are going to start asking, like, why why don't you go into Camino de Real uh, Hotel and et cetera and stuff like that. Everything, Every place that you can think of in El Paso that has some hauntings or some stories, believe us, we've been trying to get into them. But like I said, they're just trying to keep their uh, business to a minimum. They don't want to mix their businesses with what we're doing and we, we, like yeah. I said we respect it we understand it we're not gonna talk smack or talk down on them but you know today it was pretty disappointing getting denied by the McGuffin home I know oh, the McGuffin was... home would have been amazing to uh, to investigate yeah. that would have been freaking awesome man hell yeah hell very yeah. very historic building that home has been there <laughs> since the start of El Paso yeah, it has since El Paso started and that used to be like outside of El Paso city limits. It's crazy. Really? Yeah. Oh, the golf at home? That's crazy. That's like even Concordia Cemetery. That used to be three miles outside of the city limits. That's crazy. That's a trip, man. Yeah, that is a trip. Goes to show how big, uh, how much El Paso has grown. Oh yeah, man. And it grew a lot more once the railroad world started getting built. Yep. Mixed feelings on that, but we're not going to get into that. <laughs> that's, how, that's how all these different cultures exist in El Paso. Yeah, definitely, bro. You know, and so we grew up here. And... The Chinese, the Mascalero Indians, the Tiwas, Spaniards. And... Oh, you're actually Tiwa. Yeah! Wow. Yeah! Wait, what? What? <laughs> He's actually Tigua. <laughs> I'm yeah. Tigua. We love my tribe. Love our people. Hell yeah. Um, we're fortunate enough. Fortunate, we're lucky. And I thank our, our ancestors for that. We're blessed. We're blessed. I love our people. So, you know, being a Native American of the Sleta del Sur Pueblo tribe, here in El Paso, Texas, <laughs> Tigua. Uh, we grew up here in the city with, like my brother was saying, different cultures and, you know, you had a lot of things going on in different time frames within the city and it just, it, it, it progressed to different cultures and, you know, we don't, you know, we speak Spanish as well. So, I mean, that tells a lot about the city. Yeah, we speak Spanish, but I feel like we sound like bochos. <laughs> oh, yeah. We got, we got that accent, yeah. man. We got that fucking accent. And we, I, I can understand some of it, most of it, but I, I can't speak it that well. That's for sure. Yes. Hold on, let me take off the crime. A little, a little Spanish lesson for you all. Can y'all say reloj? Reloj. Reloj. Roll your R's, you gotta Roll them R's. Like Selena. Like Salina. Relo. Baby girl. That's baby girl right there, Salina. Okay, so what we're, where we're headed right now is uh, I got told by a friend of mine that there is an abandoned house and supposedly it's freaking haunted. So hopefully, hopefully, 
we can see it as we pass by. That'd be fucking awesome if. Hopefully we can see it. Man, that van waited it. to turn its signal like till right it was turning. Minute. Right at the last minute, too. See, I know it was around here. Because he told me it was by that Walmart. Well, the school's coming up, so now. Ah, yeah, that's it, huh? I guess we'll just go a little bit further. Check it out. If not, we're gonna have to end this exploration already since you know we can't use. We're gonna have to. Uh, the battery's about to die. Is it? Yeah. Like no bars left. No bars left. Yeah. This sucks, man. This really does suck. <laughs> okay, he said it was around here. I think. I don't see no abandoned house. I'm gonna have to ask him. There's nowhere to turn right right here, huh? Yeah, inside right here. I think this might be it. Hold on. Well, speed up. That's a big old fucking speed bump. Well, well, guys, unfortunately, we're going to have to end this exploration now because we had no luck with the Randonautica, which is pretty disappointing. Just like last time, we were disappointed with our footage getting deleted for some reason. And it sucks. It really does suck. I don't know what the hell is around here, but... All right, guys. Well, it's disappointing, guys. Honestly, that we have to end this so soon. But hopefully, we'll get it confirmed with uh, locations that we've been trying to reach out to, like Hispana High School, McGuffin Middle School, uh, the El Paso Playhouse. We're just waiting on those uh, to confirm. Once we do, we're hoping that we could, uh, you know, be able to go and investigate these places because we know that these places are haunted they're known for their paranormal activity so just keep your fingers crossed for us guys we're trying our best to put out the content for you all so like i said bear with us but we will be back we'll be doing our thing all right so make sure like subscribe share comment and just give us your thoughts on all this stuff that we've been putting out for you guys okay much love from josh joseph we are Borderland Paranormal, Paranormal Investigators. Investigators. Keep it scary. Keep it scary. Peace.